earth shook, the dead shuddered off their skins while their hallowed breath escaped them in invisible ribbons of night and day. Dust-covered angels now wander incognito through the backbone and veins of Port-au-Prince, trying to reconstruct their minds from the rubble, crumble concrete soles and sundered pieces like a broken open chest where the heart burst out and the ribcage lies behind, scattered in ribbons of bone. Now, how do you pray in ribbons of bone? You form crosses to mark where the angels walk. You lay rib on top of rib to intersect in perpendicular and let the bones speak for you. They know how. And the palace, the parliament, the homes and the hospitals, the schools and the shanty towns, they too know how to sing. They will rig their dirges for you, covered in ash, brick, and blood. They will give you eulogies like they never saw the needle or the bottle or the gunshot coming. They will give you requiems like Mozart killing himself in poison quarter notes and renting out his last breath from the other side of heaven. And if you want to join the angel choirs that now walk the streets and sing these blue hallelujahs as they walk around the new world crumbled down, then you must rip the song out of your own throat and learn how to sing theirs. And you must do this without choking. But I can hear you. You say that you cannot. You think that you are nothing but a flesh cocoon, wingless, battered breath soliloquy, still loosely chained to I am from long ago. You say that you will choke, that poems written from your own waterlogged grief will rise up from within your own chest and rob the air away from you. You say that it is futile and that you will garrote yourself in the process. But without you, and perhaps even in spite of you, the angels will still walk, they will pray, and they will sing. Every little boy and girl tumble beneath brick like broken tears. Every dust-veiled spectral goddess calling her dead children from the rains, from the roots. And every lost Hercules perambulating in the bruised and moonlit dark on those nights that are now jagged with broken stone teeth that now call out his name. Those ghosts, they will bless the living with their sacred wind, with violet songs voiced from fleshless throats. And to the hands that are tasked to rebuild these stone testaments, rewrite these rivers of asphalt, and resurrect the lost of that nation as new breath and flesh, I say to you, you must hear them. You must hear the angels walk, and you must bury their songs inside every inch of flesh, dirt, asphalt, stone, brick, and concrete. That is how you rebuild a broken chest and replace the heart within. You cannot do it any other way.